Hi everyone, this is Joanna at Year Long Life and today I wanted to show you um, a bullet journal that I use for my practice. Um, so I am a music teacher and also musician and I find it really really useful to have a notebook for me to keep track of my um, of my music practice I guess keep track of any technical things, skills that I'm practicing, pieces, um, time management and just general notes on how my practice session went. And I suppose you could use this um, bullet journal system for any kind of hobby that you have and adapt it. Um, so this is how I've adapted for adapted it for piano practice specifically, but I assume you could then transfer this to any instrument or any hobby even. So I hope this gives you some ideas and yeah, it's going to be a flip through and I'm going to set up for November as well. So for my bullet journaling, um, for piano practice, I use a moleskin um, notebook and the moleskin notebook is nice because this one has manuscript paper inside so I'll dive in so you can see what it looks like um, so you can see we have um, manuscript paper for music notation and so as far as I'm aware moleskin do this in two sizes they do an A6 and I think also possibly an A5 I know it's smaller than an A4 I don't know exactly if it's A5 um, and Leuchtturm also do notebooks as well for music practice, very similar to this. I think the manuscript paper is just a little bit further spaced, um, but they only do it in an A4 size, which is quite big, so it sort of depends on what you want. So what I'm going to do is open up and show you guys how I adapted the bullet journal system for, the, for music practice and then um, set up November for you, okay? So, um, open up. Here we go. So I've blocked out my address um, on the front. There you go. And on the inside cover, I've written a quote um, just to fill some space and also it's kind of nice. <laughs> it's not very nicely written, but it's there. It's nice. <laughs> and then next I've got my index pages. Now I've blocked out three pages for this. And so I've set up my English index, much like you would for any bullet journal. Um, and I've got the months. And when I do my index, I only log the pages that are really, really important. So, for example, I don't log any daily pages. Um, I can just turn to August, for example, and know that I'm going to have my daily pages there. Um, so I kind of fell off the wagon with keeping track of my practice a little bit in this um, notebook. So I want to get back into that habit again, just to be able to keep track and be accountable for what I'm doing. Um, so I'll show you how my two months, my last two months, I've got August, September. I didn't do one for October, but I'm, I'm having a bit of a break and I want to get back into it again. So my August tracker, I'll just turn this around so you can see. Um, it's kind of a little small here on the A6 notebook but I really love how condensed it is and it's not a problem really. Uh, so yeah I just wrote down a bunch of technical things I wanted to practice and pieces I was working on and some other areas of music that I wanted to work on as well and I just filled in the square so above I've got the day. It's just like you would for any or, um, habit tracker in your bullet journal and I just coloured in the squares as to what I practice using the different colours for the different sections. And then from there I just wrote out my header, the date, and then wrote down a list of things I was working on, things that I were reviewing, um, special things um, within the pieces that I wanted to practice, keep track of. And I find this useful in my teaching as well. Um, if I'm learning a piece that I want to teach a student, it's really useful to be able to know any kind of challenging spots or things that I can then um, pass on to my student. So that's that. Um, I then have my um, kind of some collections of things that I want to tick off as I'm doing. So, uh, for example, I'm reviewing up to grade eight an ABRSM exam board. So I'm just ticking off the scales and things as I review them and complete them. And I logged it at the start in my index as well, some more dailies, the same with grade 5 technical. I also use these book darts as well, and they're quite flimsy, they're not really used for like uh, as a paper clip, but they're good for bookmarking pages, they look really nice, and also they're good for just kind of like 
I suppose they're for reading lines, so you kind of use it to track where you are in your reading. I suppose it would be good on the habit tracker as well as a way to um, kind of track like which day you're on and stuff. Anyway, let's continue. Same with grade six. And then I kind of stuck these pages together just because I didn't want to bookmark the theory page. But yeah, also I'm, I want to review the grade five theory so that I can then teach it. Going on to September, I'm really happy with this header. That's really cool. The habit track is nice, but um, I think I'm going to scrap it for November just because um, it's kind of a bummer when you don't feel something out and then you feel like, oh, I haven't practiced very much and it doesn't feel good. So for November at least, I'm going to scrap it um, and just see how, how I do with it. I suppose I can always put it back in again if I if I need a habit tracker. And that's the beautiful thing about the bullet journal is kind of, you just turn the page and if you need something, just stick it in. And then if it's not working for you, don't include it the next month. It's really, really nice. Now I had a goals and tasks page. And again, this didn't really work out for me. So I have an idea about what I want to do next um, rather than having goals and tasks. And I quite enjoyed having uh, some color coding as well. Um, this is a page I really, really, light so having a monthly spread um filling in the days of the month completing kind of something special that i did in practice or something that i achieved through the month was really really nice going on dailies and then i kept like a time tracker of the different areas and how i was practicing them more dailies and yeah and here we are to this page so i i haven't really been using this notebook religiously um i've just being busy get backing into getting back into work again but it's something I want to start getting back into so what I'm going to do is set up my uh, month for November show you how I do it and then give you a talk through about what I'm doing so I'm going to change the camera angle now so you can um, see as I work in this and then um, yeah all right see you in a bit back into my um, kind of Ford shot I guess you can see <laughs> that was super quick um, setup so um, yeah basically what I did is I decided to just dive straight in I'm not going to leave any space for October as I haven't been writing this month in the notebook so what I'm going to do is dive straight in with um, some pages that I want to put here for kind of November. So the most important one I want to include or include in my notebook now is a master repertoire list. So here I will just write down all the pieces once I've learnt them, to write them down so that I can spend some time uh, during my practice just uh, working on this, these pieces just to, to review them, see how they're doing. I messed up on this page here, I was meant to write November and then um, do my monthly layout and then on this side I wanted to do a November pieces. Um, but I decided to roll with it. So I'm going to write down the pieces that I've been working on in October here and then write here November pieces as I go down. So you can see in my music notebook, like in my billet journal, I don't do anything special. I don't like using tape or stickers or anything. I'm quite happy for this to be just black pen and um, tasks and things. And I do like the colour though um, for my habits. So we'll see how this goes in November without the habit tracker. And so it's really, really, really simple. So if you're thinking of setting up your a bullet journal system for your practice, um, hopefully this video has given you some ideas about how to go about it. Um, I think whenever you're practicing an instrument, it's really, really important to be um, kind of keeping track of your progress. Um, especially in a notebook like this you can review it over a few months to see how you're doing you can then see at the end of the month what needs to be improved what you're not working on how you're feeling about everything you're doing and whether you need to take a new approach to uh, the way that you're learning your instrument um, so yeah practice is a tough one um, but if you keep track of it it's going to be really useful in the long term for you so hopefully this is giving you some ideas 
about how to set up a notebook for music practice and if you have any questions please leave them below in the comments if you've got any suggestions or ideas for me please leave them below as well um, and yeah if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and give me a thumbs up um, I'm going to be making some more plan with me's um, later this week and um, yeah thanks a lot and I will recap this at the end of November so you can see how I've been doing over the month and thank you for watching bye bye